All right, this is gonna be a bit on how to disassemble and reassemble a high point carbine. This one is chambered in Smith, 40 Smith and Wesson round. They have three different kinds. They have nine, 40, and 45. Same everything, it looks exactly the same. This gun ran me $4.99 at a local gun store by my house right here in a, uh, Southern California. Came with everything you see included, a compensator, a laser, that's what this is right here. It also came with the flashlight mounted that mounts to right here, but I don't use that at the range, so I rarely have it on it. Came with this foregrip and one magazine. And the sling as well, the only thing it didn't come with was these two extra magazines and this magazine holder that attaches to the stock. That ran me, I believe, like $40 from High Point directly from them. Shipping included like 40 bucks, if that might be wrong. And you save like $6 as opposed to buying each one of these three things by, by themselves. All right, and uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do to disassemble your gun, or at least it's what I gotta do, is you slide, you slide this uh, little round thing at the bottom and it creates an opening to where this tool is. This tool here was included with the gun. I found that out by just by messing around with it. And uh, being in California, I gotta use this to have my magazine, detach my magazine. You gotta make sure there's nothing in the chamber. It's good to go. So once you got that done, you start by removing your firing handle right here. Usually with the tool provided, you take that off. It's a little bolt. Let's screw it. This thing's in two pieces. This thing will spin regardless. There's that. Next, you're gonna with this remove this little lever slap, push it back. You again with the tool provided, use little pointy parts at the one end. You slide it in this little hole you see here and you just flip it back just like that and now this will remove your barrel shroud it's gonna take quite a bit of uh, force to do it but the first time I did it was rather hard and it just slides right out and there's your barrel shroud your barrel most of it's exposed now next thing is gonna be these two pins these two things you see here are pins Held on by these latches back here on the other side. To remove the latches, you gotta push the pins in a little bit, very little, while at the same time sliding these latches back with this tool provided. Oh. Just like that, and the pin comes out. Now you gotta do the other side. Again, you got to be pushing this up and sliding it back. Just like that. Pink popped up. Great. Now, you can remove this all in one piece. And that came off. No, nope. Whatever you have on here is going to come off. It's just these two pins holding this piece alone. So it's easy. You already got a big chunk of your gun removed. Next, you see down here is your serial number. There's this like a, a clamp or whatever you want to call it. It's held on by this little bump or little groove you see here on the stock. The way to remove it, you can't just slide it out. You have to kind of push it up with the tool provided. Push it up a little bit so the metal bends. The metal bends and just slide it out. There's that. Now, you can slide your barrel and your action. You can pull it off, actually, not slide. Pull it off. Here it is. There's that. This is just your stock. There's nothing else to remove in here. Unless you want to remove, like your laser, your flashlight, a foregrip. You're switching it out. There's this. Alright, next, th this is pretty much all you have to remove, and you got most of it. Now there's this little latch back here, which you have to slide that way. Use this.
just like that it pops off it's not going to come completely off you don't want it to that's all you need just to slide it back now you have to slide this part right here to right here where it's nice and flush and this will pop up once it's flush that's the part that comes off and that's the part that's holding it down there and this comes off oh sorry gotta put this back in you gotta remove this barrel band first and it just pops off you can do that by hand and just make sure it's nice and flush and that comes off and here's your recoil spring there's the recoil spring uh, it'd be easier if you remove your uh, compensator and front sight so you could completely remove this but I refuse to do that so I have to I'm just gonna aim this barrel up and to get to the firing pin you gotta remove this little say firing pin holder I guess just slide that back There's nothing to it just sliding it back if you put too much pressure it won't like come off you just nice and smooth slide back and you just aim it down and here's a firing pin spring it's two of them two and one there's a bigger one and then a smaller one on the inside and then the firing pin itself is right here now you could clean that off clean whatever you like and uh, lube any moving parts you could say which is what I do to put it back you just put the firing pin in of course same way you got it out with the pointy tip going in first then the firing pin spring, the little two-in-one, make sure uh, both of them go in, not just one because they're very easy to one or the other come off. Put that in, then you little put the little holder back in with this little tip going in first, same way you got it out. And there's that. Now, put everything back together, it's just repeating the same process. You're going to have to... Again, it's easier if you remove these two things, but I didn't feel like doing that. So I kind of got to work a little bit more. You put this uh, recoil spring back in. This little white thing you see in here, that points towards the barrel, the outside. Not put it in like that. You got to go in like that. Slide that back in. And the goal is to put this here into this hole here here to here so you just do it nice and gently boom now everything's back in you slide this little latch back now you can do it by hand and that's good to go I'm going to put it back in really simple there's this little you just gotta put the put the back part in first. You just lay it right over it. And it kind of just snaps in. Snaps into place. You gotta make sure you don't have your safety on, or it's gonna be in the way. Just snap it in place. Just like that. And it's on there. Whoa, whoa. Forgot about the barrel band. Sorry about that. You gotta put that back in. Back part in first. And just snaps right in. Now putting this back, this little latch you see here has to go inside under the plastic. So you put that part in first and then you just kind of snap that in as well. Now you put the firing, or not the firing pin, the pins back in like that. And then you just slide the latch back in place. Again, you still gotta push the pin a little, or else you're gonna see it's like that. So you gotta push it in, and then it slides in. Same thing up front. Pushing it in, sliding the pin up. Again, my my front is a little bit harder for some reason. Now you put this little thing back here. 
little clamp that it came with, just slide it back in. That's back in. Now your barrel shroud. Just gotta make sure that slides back in as well. Just make sure it's nice and even all the way across, not like that. Just gotta make sure it's nice and even right here. And this just slides back in place. Again, the last little inch or so, a little more pressure. And then you just flip this latch back on. Come back over here, put your charging handle back in here. Tighten it with the tool provided. And this is still gonna spin regardless. Just make sure, do a little function test, make sure everything's operating well. Put this back in here so you don't lose it. Slide that here. And as you can see right now, there's a little hole here. You just slide that back here, the opposite way and it's not gonna come out. And you're good to go. That's it, thank you for watching.